Hey everyone, Adam Soltis here with another video about Bitcoin paper wallets. So this is a follow-up to my last video where we looked how to take a paper wallet, uh, load some Bitcoins on there, and get those Bitcoins loaded onto your phone. Um, check that out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the process I use to generate these pieces of paper and a script I wrote that lets me do it in bulk so that I can create a bunch of them at a time and it lays them out nicely in a PDF file that I can take to a print shop. So to get started, you can check out my script at uh, github.com slash asalty slash Bitcoin paper wallet combiner. Uh, this is for people running Linux. So sorry if you're not running Linux, you're not gonna be able to use this script yet. Uh, one day I'd like to make a website that just automates all this. But for now, this is how it works. You download the file with uh, your git clone command. Uh, it's going to take a second to grab the script files there. <clears throat> when it's done, you'll have this Bitcoin paper wallet combiner folder or directory uh, with the code in it. Uh, there's a couple of different scripts here. So combine.sh is a bash script that takes PDF files uh, in a number sequence, like number one, two, three, four dot PDF and combines them together. So let's just take a look at that. Uh, we're gonna get the PDFs from bitcoinpaperwallet.com, which gives us these nice designs. Uh, this is a wallet that has an address and a corresponding private key that starts with a balance of zero. And we can go ahead and print this off. Um, instead of printing it out on a piece of paper to cut out right away, we're going to choose to save it as a PDF file. So most browsers allow you to do that. We're going to save this to our folder that we um, just downloaded from GitHub. And we're going to rename the file to call it uh, one.pdf because it's the first wallet that we're doing. Then we can just click this Generate New Wallet button. And what's the, what that's done is created another Bitcoin address with another corresponding private key, uh, which we're going to print off now and call 2.pdf. And we'll do a couple more just to get the feel for it. Um, I usually do about 25 to 50 of these at a time. So I have a bunch of paper wallets on hand. They're all blank and waiting for me to load up with Bitcoins and hand out to people as tips. I don't recommend using this method for actually storing uh, a lot of Bitcoins for yourself as a, a form of savings or cold storage for your Bitcoins. This is more just for generating a bunch of these um, tip wallets that you can hand out to people who aren't familiar with Bitcoin and don't have a wallet set up. And it's just a nice way to get some Bitcoins in their pocket right away so that they can take it home with them and check it out later when they have more time. So once we've got those files downloaded, um, we show up uh, in our directory here, and now we are ready to run the combine shell script. So let's type that in, combine.sh. Tell us that it's put them all together, and <clears throat> let's take a look at the resulting file. So see here that instead of just having a single paper wallet per page, uh, we've actually got two um, on the front page here. And then on the next page, we've got the reverse design. So uh, I forgot to show you that, but um, that's basically coming from when you go to print the back of the wallet. This is the reverse side with instructions. Um, you can make your own custom instructions here that gives out your email address or links to uh, apps that you recommend or, or whatever. So make sure you save that also as back.pdf, I have here already. So <clears throat> now that this combined PDF is created, it's all ready to take to the print shop. Um, I actually go to a little copy center that has nice card paper. It's a little more durable than um, you know, normal printer paper. And they've got a really good like color laser printer there that makes these nice wallets for me. So having a single PDF file with everything laid out and ready to go for double-sided printing with two per page, 
uh, saves me a lot of time there and saves me some money because uh, the normal recommended way of doing these is to print one out and then turn the page around, print it again, and then flip the page and print to, print the back sides. And all that printing um, gets charged separately at the print shop. So by just having it all laid out for me, I save a bit of money there. And that's about it. Uh, I'll just show you a couple other scripts that come with my utility there. So keys.shell is another little script that I wrote that um, it looks at all the PDF files that you downloaded. And when you run that, it gives you this keys.txt file, uh, which is a list of all the private keys from the wallets. So that's these private keys on the right-hand side of the wallet that you can use to redeem the Bitcoins. Um, the reason I like to collect all these and make a backup of them is so that even after I hand out these paper wallets, I can uh, still have access to the Bitcoins in case the person never uses them. And uh, I also have this script here, uh, buildwallet.coffee, which if you have the coffee script program installed, you can run that as well. It creates a file called wallet.aes.json, which is a wallet that's in blockchain.info format. So blockchain.info is a web wallet that you can use to um, load this file in and it'll basically read all the private keys and let you spend the bitcoins from all of your paper wallets so it's like a combined online wallet that you can sweep all of these funds out of so and monitor them so you can see when people are spending from your paper wallets or not and that's just useful to track whether they're actually being used or if most people are just ignoring it and uh, tossing it away. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, take care for now.